Hey, someone was asking me how to adjust the transmission on this bus. This is a AT540 automatic transmission, not a 545. The difference is that right there. This is a vacuum modulator. It runs off the vacuum off the engine. And the adjustment... Is this little screw here? Let's see if I can get the camera on that. That little screw right there. If you turn it all the way in, it'll give you uh, maximum RPMs and uh, later shift times. But if you pull it all the way out, like it is right now, it'll shift sooner. This is the same thing as the kick down cable on the AT545. which the, I'm sure the kick down cable on an AT545 is adjustable too, but not in the same way. That wire right there, this is the backup light, for the backup light. And then here's the, the gear shift. That's reverse, neutral, drive, three, two, one. And there's your cooling lines. And a transmission uh, oil filter, and that's your uh, shut off. That's your oh no, I take that back. That's the shut off for the neutral. Well, one of those hours. I'm not an expert. One of these wires is for the neutral shut off. If the bus is not in neutral, it won't start. And the other one's reverse. Now on the non-air brake vehicles, and the, uh, oh, there's a speedometer, uh, they'll put a brake drum back here on the back of the transmission, and that's your parking brake. The one, the old, old buses that had the, had the over center or the parking brake lever that you pushed up, pulled up, and pulled down, that would have a, there'd be a brake chamber mounted on the back of the transmission. And that was your parking brake, or your emergency brake. But this bus has air brakes, so... And the, uh, the Fords with the uh, spring brakes worked the same way as air brakes. It, was, it worked off of springs that uh, set the rear, rear brakes on the rear axle.